Welcome to Sunday evening, y'all. I'm starting supper. I already have the cornbread in the oven. Tonight I'm making a vintage family favorite. This is something my mama, I think my mama made this up. I'm not sure. I should have asked her. We just went and saw her two days ago. Was it Friday? Yeah, Friday. We went to see mama for a little while. And I should have asked her if she made up this recipe because every time I make it, I say I'm going to ask her if she made it up and I forget. But we call it lima bean soup. It's pretty much like vegetable beef soup, but the only vegetable in it is the lima beans. I know if y'all been here for a while, you've heard me talk about it. Like we like it better than vegetable soup or vegetable beef soup just ground beef lima beans and tomato soup it smells like pumpkin pie in here because we made five pumpkin pies today for a video that y'all already saw if you missed it I'll link it down below right now the last three are in the oven one of them is a like a hundred and ten year old recipe it's from 1913 I, I'm really excited to try that one did we like it y'all already know if we did this one's ready to come out. It's from 1990. Titus and Jacob and Tyler are out there working on the truck that they got. I'll take y'all out there and show it to y'all in a minute. It's one that they just want to use for hauling cows and different stuff like that, but it needs some work and they're all working on it together, getting it fixed up. They're going to repaint it and all kind of stuff. There's Mr. Man. I'm going to make this all in one pot. I'm going to cook the ground beef first, then we'll drain it and add in the soup and the lima beans and we do water. We add the soup and the water and then lima beans. That's it. This soup is so easy. It's like 20 minutes. It's ready. I think me and my nephew even made up the name lima bean soup. I'm not sure if that's what my mama called it, but we absolutely loved lima bean soup night. And all of my kids love it. Like I said, I don't know what's so good about it, but it is. Oh, I'm trying to make tea back here too, but didn't even turn it on. Y'all, my little kettle from Aldi, y'all know I love that thing. It stopped working on me. I looked at Walmart to order another one because it came in handy so much, especially like when I made coffee in the French press and stuff like that. But Walmart has some, they're just, they're not as cute as that one I had from Aldi. It was, you know, it matched my countertops almost, the green color, the 70s color. And I saw in, oh no, it was Walmart's website. I thought it was an Aldi ad, but it was Walmart's website. Like some of their fall decorations and stuff, they're throwing back to the 70s. It has like 70s inspired fall decor. I told y'all a couple years ago, I think, or it might have been about a year ago, that's why we weren't changing our countertops, because they're coming back. These green countertops, they'll come back in style. We'll be the first ones to have them. <laughs> I'm totally kidding. I don't think they're going to come back in style, but at least it's different. Mama. Huh? Have you ever seen a bulldog? Yeah, I've seen some bulldogs before. Yeah. The bulldogs have to hold up their big cheeks, but they hang over. Yeah, their cheeks hang lower. Yeah. But they try to hold them up. Yeah. No. Fall break is almost here. We were actually going to take our fall break a little bit early and go to the Smokies, but a few things came up that we first we were just going to change our days and then we decided we'll just wait a little while longer so that we wouldn't have to be rushing back or anything. I can't believe it's already fall break though. Do we really just have 3 more months left in this year? It starts going by faster the older you get. That's why you gotta get up early, and get the most out of each and every day, cause they start flying by. All right, I'm gonna bring y'all out here and show y'all the fixer upper truck out here. How's it going? Good. It's a 93. It's a I like the color that it is, but I think they want to paint it white. Is that what y'all want to paint it? We're gonna Raptor line it. They're gonna Raptor line it, whatever that means. White. Oh, look at the inside. It looks pretty good in there. Looks good to be 30 years old. It smells like 1993 in here. You smell it? Yeah. We'll come over here and check the garden. It's been a few days since I've been out here. Titus got the okra and stuff for me the other day. Pickle bush cucumbers are looking good. Look how tall it's getting. Might need some water though. I see down here it's looking like we need some water. We're not getting as much rain, you know, as we normally get. I'll water these later this evening. We probably have some peppers over here ready, yep. I'm excited about these cucumbers. It's definitely looking like we're gonna get some this time. So when we first planted the spring garden, we planted cucumbers over in the ground and they didn't make it. These are in a grow bag. And if I'd have known they were gonna do this good, I would have 
gotten more because I have an extra grow bag over there. Actually, two if you count that basil. We need to do something with that basil. There's so much of it. These are the Hungarian hot wax peppers that are in the grow bags. Both of these plants are. The one in the ground over here, it's not producing anymore. We could probably go ahead and take it up. I mean, it's been probably two weeks since I've gotten any peppers off of it. I do see a few though right here. We'll leave it a little longer. The habanero plant is getting bigger and producing more and more habanero peppers. Y'all see all those? And over here, so many. And nothing's messing with them. So hopefully they'll turn orange for us before anything gets them. Bell pepper plant, uh, there are, I think I saw one or two on there. Oh yeah, there's a little one right there. It might be the only one on there. Nope, I see some about to start happening right up here. These are the Blue Lake bush beans. I can probably move this now. I just put it here so no animals would come over here and step on it when it was really, when they were really little, you know? So I can probably move this. We really need to get the weed eater and clean up over here. This was all where the pumpkin vines were grown up really big and so now they're, you know, not as big anymore. We still have some stuff going on out here. But we need to clean all this up. The okra doesn't look like it's gonna last much longer. We do have some ready though. Should have brought my basket over here with me. Beets are looking good over here. Carrots, not so much. Titus is saying that Miss Turkey's coming over here and eating the carrots, the carrot tops. Because we did have more than this, but right now it's just this and this. We put this here too to try to keep folks out of it, but it didn't work too well. That one's nervous. She's always the last one out, isn't she? Say, come on, girl. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. I'm trying to rub her tail. There she comes. <laughs> Miss Turkey likes pumpkin more than the chickens. <laughs> Roosty's gonna get you. <laughs> he said, don't you be messing with my girls, Manny. <laughs> We finished eating supper, got the kitchen cleaned up, then we did the pie taste test. I won't tell y'all the winner, just in case you haven't seen the video. I'll link it down below, so if you missed it, go check it out. I was very surprised at which one of these won. I really was. I wasn't too surprised by the one that came in last place, but I was surprised by the winner. I'll give you a hint. I thought this one was gonna win, but it didn't. It's 714 now and it's already getting dark out there. So I gotta get the little kids getting baths, getting ready for bed. Tomorrow morning for breakfast, I have a lot of that hash brown casserole left over that I made yesterday. And I think I'm just gonna make some bacon and eggs to go with that hash brown casserole in the morning because it'll go fine with breakfast. You know, hash brown casserole is good any time of day. So that's what I'm gonna do for breakfast in the morning. That'll be easy. Let's get some pies in the freezer. I don't wanna put all these pie plates and stuff in the freezer, so I think they're all pretty solid enough now that I can just wrap them by themselves without having to have them in a pan. Giraffes Let me say it. Good night. Okay. Giraffes good, good, young, not. Very good. Okay, what's opening? It's getting late, my little one. It's time to scrub a dub. We'll wash away your busy Let day. Let me do this. Inside the bubbly tub. Okay, open it. Oh, whoops. I forgot this part opens. Poppity pop. What a soapy, sudsy, long good night. Did you have bubbles like that? Yeah. Our bubbles don't do that good, do they? No. I gotta figure out what kind of bubbles giraffes use in their bath. There. 
Pajama time. My spot is tight, so you'll Let be warm and snug. This. Okay. Now choose your favorite pair to wear and then give me a hug. Monkeys, trucks, dinos, ducks. Can you give me one of those? You like oh, you got those. Look. You got those right now. That's what you got. No, can you buy me one of those? One, a white one with green dinosaurs? Yeah. And, and orange you, trim? Yeah. <laughs> Now hold my hugs and kisses tight. Let's both have a peaceful, oh, a dreamful, kissing. quiet, and sleepful long good night.